Hi, my name is Steve, Project Manager at Rock Science. Today, we are going to talk about primary consolidation and secondary consolidation in Cero3. Primary consolidation allows you to calculate the pore water pressure dissipation along the depth of the soil for a given time period. And you can assign time for each of the stages. So in case if you have something like embankments, stage excavation, or structural loads, you will, you will be able to see the consolidation effects coming into play at each of the stages. Secondary sediment then will kick in once you reach around 95% of your primary consolidation. Now, this number can also change depending on the project settings and what the user defines. But by default, 95% of your primary consolidation is a key point for your secondary sediment to start kicking into the analysis. Let's take a look at our model to see this behavior. Here we have a model of embankments. We check the stages. You'll see that we have stages from one to nine with time ranging from 10 days to 7,000 days. And as you can see, as we progress on each of the stages, you will see a progression of your primary consolidation. Let's check the soil properties. So we go to soils, define soil properties. And you'll see that we have the soil properties. And if we take a look at clay type one, we have immediate sediment that is turned off. Primary consolidation with nonlinear type with the required input parameters and time dependent consolidation analysis parameters, such as CV and also K values can be defined and the B bar value can be defined as well. And secondary consolidation option has been turned on as well with the method of standard with the CA and CAR values as shown in this dialog. What you will notice here is that we also have a what's called time query point. If we right click on this and we go to time point properties, you will be able to calculate the time for reaching the degree of consolidation up to 90%. But this can also change depending on what you want. And total sediment can also be calculated as well. So we'll keep it at 90%. And we'd like to see it from time, from stage at stage one, at zero days, at the top of the layered uh, soil, which is zero feet. So as you can see, we have this four layered soil and groundwater that's slightly underneath the ground surface. And as we progress on each of the stages, at stage five, we'll have the left side of the embankment being installed. And stage six, we'll have the right side of the embankment being installed. And then we'll see the total sediment at 7,000 days as shown in this model. Let's now take a look at secondary consolidation. As you can see, the time query point has an elevation at zero feet, and it reaches to 90% of consolidation at around 558 days. This means that if we go to the results tab and we go to secondary sediment, you'll see that at stage zero, you have zero uh, inches of secondary consolidation. And stage two, where it's 500 days, still zero inches of secondary consolidation. And at point, when you reach to stage three, when you have 1,000 days of progression on the primary consolidation, that's when you see the secondary consolidation kicking in. And as we progress throughout the stages, then as you can see, at the end of the stage, when it reaches to 7,000 days of consolidation, we have reached around 1.53 secondary consolidation. In case if you want to change the secondary consolidation settings, you can go to the advanced setting in the project settings. And you can see that under secondary consolidation, there is a start of secondary consolidation with respect to percentage of your primary consolidation. So you can just, you can just change this value and you will be able to see when the secondary consolidation starts to kick into your analysis. So this concludes the overall overview of the primary consolidation as secondary consolidation using Settle 3.